what's up everyone welcome back to the channel so in this video we are going to be solving confirm the ending challenge from the free code camp curriculum okay so if you are here just for the final solution check in the description below i will include a timestamp and you can jump straight to the final solution but if you want to know the process or the step-by-step -step explanation of how we got the final solution let's get started okay so first let's try and understand the challenge before we start solving it so we are told to confirm the ending check if a string which will be given as the first argument so you have a string given as first argument for example this bastion here and check if it ends with the given target string which is the second argument so you'll be given the given target string which is the second argument here so the challenge is to check if this is equal to the end of the string so for example this n this word bastion also ends with n so this will return true for example but if it's n ended with let's say nh then this will be false because this doesn't end with nh it ends with a n okay this challenge can be solved with dot ends with method which was introduced in years 25 but for the purpose of this challenge we would like to use one of the javascript substring method instead okay so let's get started now the first thing i like to do usually is to write pseudocode okay so here you are giving a string and a target so giving a string and a target what do you want to do well what you want to do is first let's get the length of the given string okay and also get the length of the given target okay so let's call it x for example then let's extract the last x letters from the string okay so what I want to do is for example if this right here is n want to extract and there's just one the length of this target is one so want to extract the last letter before we can compare if this was something like this then the length of target is three so then we we'll extract the last three letters okay so that's what we are doing so extract the last x letters from the string and after doing that compare it so compare the last x letters from the string that we extracted compare it with the given target okay if it's true you want to return sorry if it's the same You want to return true okay and if it's not you want to return false all right so let's get started now we say we want to first get the length of the given string so let's say const str length is equal to str dot length like so they want to get the length of the given target so cons target length is equal to target dot length like so okay so we've done the first step and the second step now the third step is to extract the last x letters from the string so the way we're going to do that first we have to split the string so that we get an array so let's say const str array is equal to str dot split okay now let me console dot log str array let's see what we have so as you can see we have bastion but it's just one item in the array but i want it to be separated so that we get the individual letters so i'll put 
an empty string here and you can see we have the individual letters in an array okay now to get the last x letters we can use splice so we'll say const str extract is equal to str array dot splice okay now we have the length of the string and we have the length of the target so you can subtract the length of the target from string okay so that for example if this is one two three you can subtract one two three from the string so that we get the last lettuce which will be the same length as this one okay so i'll say str length minus target length okay now let's do a console log of str extract okay now as you can see we have the last x letters so for example here if i clean this to n you see we have just n if i say i a n for example we have we have i a n okay now let's join it so i'll say const last letters is equal to str extract dot join so again let me console log last letters okay and you see we have i a n okay so i don't want these commas here so i'll bring an empty string and then we have i a n as you can see that's the last letters okay so let me clean this so that it doesn't confuse you all right now what i want to do is just return um, last letters equal to target okay So let me bring this here i'll clean this up okay so let's do last letter equal to target and you see this return true because this right here is the same as this now assuming i do x y z for example it will return false because this right here is not the same as this okay so that's it that solves the challenge so let me just run the test and as you can see we pass the test okay so very quickly let me just run through it what we are doing here so first we got the length of the given string then we got the length of the given target then what we did was we split the string so that we have the individual letters then we extracted the last letters so for example if this has three letters we extract the last three letters if this has five letters we extract the last five letters okay and whatever we get we compare it with this if it is true this this will return a boolean so if it's true this will return true if it is not the same this will return false okay so that's it all right so thanks for checking out this video be sure to like and subscribe and see you in the next one